Ernest Owl Starts a School by Jane Pilgrim. It was a very good idea. Ernest Owl thought of it one night as he sat on a branch of his old oak tree and watched the moon shining down on Blackberry Farm. I'll start a school, he hooted softly to himself and all the little ones at the farm shall come to me, and I will teach them, and everyone will be pleased. So he began to make a list. First of all, there were Mrs Nibble's three little bunnies, Rosie, Posy and Christopher. They were in bed with measles, but they would soon be better. Then there was little Martha the lamb, and Mother Hen's naughty little chick, Mary. Mother Hen will be very glad, Ernest Owl thought, because I know she wants to be alone to lay some more eggs. That made five altogether, and then Ernest Owl decided to ask George the kitten as well. He found him one evening, waiting by the farmhouse door for his supper. If I start a school, George, he began solemnly, will you come? I shall want you to be head boy and see that the others are good. George thought that that would be fun, so he said, Yes, Ernest Owl, I'll come. The next thing to do was to find a place for the school, and Ernest Owl chose a little shed next to the stable where Emily the goat lived. That will be very useful, he told himself, because Emily can provide milk for the little ones in the morning. And when he asked Emily, she said she would be very pleased to do it. Little Martha the lamb was very excited when she heard that she was to go to school. When can I come, Ernest Owl? she bleated. Can I come tomorrow? But Ernest said that the school would not start until he had asked Lucy Mouse to clean the shed for them. The next day Lucy Mouse started work. She swept and she dusted and she tidied and by the evening everything was spotless. Ernest was delighted and George the kitten helped to arrange some old boxes as tables and some plant pots as stools ready for the lessons. At nine o'clock the next morning, Ernest Owl opened the door of his school and took his place at the teacher's table and waited. First of all, Mrs Nibble hurried up with her three little bunnies and they sat in the front because they were the youngest. Then Mother Hen bustled in with little Mary and behind her came Martha the lamb. They sat in the next row. Last of all, but very important, came George the kitten, and he sat all by himself at the back. Ernest Owl put on a large pair of spectacles and looked down at them. Then he took up a large piece of paper and a large pencil. Good morning, everybody, he said. Are you all here? And they all said, Yes, Ernest Owl and he ticked off their names on his list. After that, they began their work. The bunnies learnt to write R for Rosie, P for Posy, and C for Christopher. Mary Hen was taught to count up marbles so that she could tell how many eggs her mother had laid. George and little Martha drew pictures of Blackberry Farm. At 11 o'clock, Ernest Dowell rang a little bell. You have worked very hard, he hooted. Now we shall stop for a little while. Emily the goat has put some milk for you all outside. Go and find it. And outside, on an old bench, they found six mugs of milk, one for each of them. When they had drunk their milk, Ernest Owl rang the bell again, and they all went back into school. Now you shall sing and dance until it's time to go home, he told them. So they all played ring a ring a roses and sang nursery rhymes until it was time to stop. Then Ernest Owl opened the door for them to go home. Goodbye, he said. You have all been very good. Come again tomorrow at the same time. So they all said goodbye and George the kitten said, I think Ernest Owl is very clever. I'm going to like having a school at Blackberry Farm. And they all agreed with him. <laughs> <laughs>